And Mind Crypto here. I hope we're all having a wonderful day. I know I am. And the title of the video is All by Design Zoom Out. Please remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any further videos. And remember to press that like button. You'd be doing me a massive favor. Please also remember I'm not a financial advisor and none of this is financial advice and none of the information provided in this video should ever be taken as a signal to buy or to sell. But first and foremost, we look at these crypto bubbles. Wow, it is the Red Sea, as we can see. Absolutely awful. But as you know, this does not bother me. I have a vision for the future, long term. This is not a short term gain. We're going to see these retracements. We're going to see things dump. And it is across the board. It's not personal, guys. It's not personal at all. So we can see we're down one rank to 55 with a market cap of $1.24 billion with a 24 hour volume of $20 million and a price of $103. Now, that's a big drop down from that 150 mark that we saw recently. But if we go down here, we can literally see everything is dumping on the day here. We can see all of this just literally red, 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 all just dumping all the way down. Some really big numbers, double figure dumping there, OKB, 13%. So it's not personal, it's just something that is going on. But we move over to our short-term trade analysis with Bull Shark Trading. And as we can see here, we have a break of structure with the negative deltas we are expecting price to at least mitigate the FVG, the fair value gap. Would be nice to see the buy-in zones also mitigated. It's a marathon, not a sprint. And here, here to that, got to look at this logically we're going to see these pumps these dumps all the way through but long term we should see some nice returns as we start to build and as the narrative starts to build around CBDCs which we're going to talk about at some point in this video now if we move over to the exchange reserves we can also see they're at 1.389 million on reserves so it's not really changed so we can see this this trend line and it's not it's still going down as i can see so it's not really changed it doesn't bother me and at some point these will drop now this brings me absolute hope now if we see here we can see this wallet one of the big wallets that i follow um has 41,000 quant value of four million dollars and up until two months ago was loading probably loading at higher prices as well. But as we can see here, started again at two years. Is this a licensed wallet? I probably think so. I think this is more and more likely to be a licensed wallet. But we also see here, we see another big wallet that I follow. We can also see up until two weeks ago was storing like hell, 1.7, 2.2, 1.6, 1.6, 1.6,000. And slowly just keep building and building. And you know what? There's been no outflows, no outflows at all. So if you look at this other wallet here, no outflows and we'll look at my third wallet which is again worth four million dollars and only holds quant all these wallets just hold quant and we can see here up until two months ago storing and there have been no outflows so this brings me a lot of hope with regards to quant and we're seeing this across the board i've only shown you three wallets here but these wallets aren't moving anything again could these be licenses Maybe. Could these be people just hodling, storing? Maybe. But it brings me a lot of hope. Now, I see this. I get this a lot. <laughs> so I will say, oh, loads going on with, with Quant, looking absolutely brilliant, blah, blah, blah. And then you get this absolute, I won't call him a name, but he's got his opinion. See, big performance, less talks. And he's talking about LCX. I haven't got a problem with LCX. I think they're a great coin. And he's talking about this here. <laughs> and he's gone over to Miles Bron on a reply as well and said the same thing, said the same thing, see what is real performance without any big talks. But I'm gonna go back to this and I want people to realize where we are at. So if we look, Quant, look here at Free Anton's tweet, this was back in November, 2023. Quant price chart is one of the most bullish of all alts. Due to Quant's tech and scarcity, the PA is one step ahead of the rest. And it is, we're gonna show you. What Quant showcased last year, which he meant in 2022, which in a deadly bear market, the rest are doing today. You're supposed to sell quant. So if we look here, we can see here this, this trend across quant. It's just this mark. And we are literally at here now around this mark. And it's just this accumulation zone, what I see as. So if we then move over to this chart, we can see XDC. Again, it's finding that. So if we the big drop, 
went really low and then has caught up to an accumulation zone. And I'm assuming it's holding that line. Then we see this and we go over to the render chart. And again, big dip and then it's playing catch up to this now accumulation zone. And again, you'll find exactly the same with LCX, finding that zone slowly catch up with quant. So people are, need to zoom out when they look at these charts and not just look at these small time runs because the way I see it is that quant will run when it wants to run. And all these people taking their nice green candles or their profit, and, and when they realize that quant is gonna move, they'll be using all that profit to buy into quant at higher levels. And that's the way I see it. So really for me, DCAing and holding is the best move in my mind, remembering that's not financial advice. I do this and this is my personal opinion. So all these big moves that you know these other coins are doing, getting there and people taking profit, they're only gonna use those profits when they realize Quant is actually gonna run and they'll be buying at a higher profit. So really it mitigates itself anyway. So I'm really not that bothered. Now, what good timing is this? President Trump, and this has been like the general theme over the last two weeks, President Trump, President Trump said Vivek told him about the dangers of CBDC and promises never to allow it if elected. Now, this seems good timing for me for all these dumps that we're seeing, especially with regards to the utility coins, because stuff like this only draws us away from wanting coins with utility in the real world, especially those coins that are going to be implemented as part of CBDCs, you know, especially like Quant, because they do have a framework where they will be implementing the overledger to bring legacy into blockchain. Now, is this by plan? Probably, because the news only picks up stuff that they want to bring the market down when it's already down. So if we listen to this, this just basically is part of the media playing their game to try and get these cheaper prices in. Whoever's telling them to do what they need to do, but listen to this. But Vivek is great, he's really great. But he wanted this and I'll give him full credit for it. It's very important actually. I will never allow the creation of a central bank digital currency. Just that statement there is going to make people think, well, I'm not sticking to any coins that are associated to CBDCs. And this just is a way of getting people out, getting people to sell, um, just following that whole FUD narrative just to push, just to bring it down. And to be fair, I'm quite happy with that, to be fair, because all it's going to do for me is allow me to buy in at those lower prices. There you go, guys. Just keep your eyes open. Don't be fooled. All the best. And I'll catch you later.